Oh, ho, ho. And welcome to another episode of Glue and Make. My name is Firefighter Paul and I'm a real life firefighter. And today we're in Wareham Fire Station. So just remember, if you hear the bells or my pager goes off, I've got a shout and I've got a skeleton. So what are we going to make today on Glue and Make? Firefighters have so many different tools to use and choose from. My favourite tool is the humble torch. It is such a useful tool because we can look in dark areas and we can look in smoke filled rooms and that's going to be our make today. So what do we need for this make? First off you're going to need a few sheets of paper. Then, if you have any, some black paper or card. But don't worry, if you haven't got any of this, all you need to do is to get some black paint or a marker pen and make your own. Then you need some felt tip pens, some scissors, but remember scissors are sharp, so sometimes it's best to get a grown up to help you. And then you need some plastic, clear wallets, or if you haven't got any of those, you can always use a clear see-through plastic bag. The first thing you will need to do is to cut this flap off the envelope, but be careful with the scissors and make sure that you don't cut yourself. Then all you need to do is to turn the envelope upside down. So for the next part, what we've got to do is draw things on the back of the... Can you hear that sound? That means that someone needs our help and we've got to shout. I've got to scare out of it. Oh, great. You're still here. We can get on with the make. That fire call was very interesting. It was a bonfire that was out of control. See, everybody is being really good at the moment and staying at home. And people like to go out and sort the shed out, do the gardening and clear a bit of rubbish out. And then they make a garden bonfire. But the trouble is, sometimes they can get out of control. And we ask you not to have any bonfires if possible. Now, let's get on with the make. OK, just to recap, we cut the flap off the envelope, turn the envelope around and made sure the opening is towards us. Then we get a black marker pen and we can draw some shapes and some items onto this side of the plastic. Okay, see if you can guess what it is. These creatures hang around in corners. Some people are really, really frightened of them. Shout it out when you know. Of course, it's a spider's web, but obviously we've got to have a spider. Let's draw one quickly. Do some googly eyes. And then when you've finished putting all your things on the piece of plastic, then you can color them in. I'm going to color my spider red because it reminds me of the fire engines that we go to shouts in. Now, once you've filled the piece of plastic, it should look like this. And then you get your black card and slide it into the envelope. And now we need to make our torches. Can you remember what my torch looked like. Well, with those bits of paper, you can draw it out. 
just like so. And if you didn't want to draw a fireman's torch, you could draw an ordinary torch. Get a grown up to cut them out and you can colour them in and then you should have something that looks like that. Now this is where the fun part is. This is when you can light up everything with your torch. Take your torch and slide it into the plastic envelope. And suddenly you can see that you're lighting up everything. Can you see the door? And you can see the spiders. And you can see the table. You can see some books on a shelf. You can see a vase and some roses. A clock and a family portrait. And you can also see a friendly face. Of course, it's Firefighter Tom from Ware and Fire Station. Here's another one I made from the plastic bag. Slide the black card in. And then you can use your torch to see what's in the bottom of the ocean. Well, I hope you had fun making that make as much as I did. Remember, if you want more activities, please go to dwfire.org.uk. Well, remember, keep washing those hands, and I'll see you on the next episode of Glue and Make. It's Firefighter Paul signing off. Bye-bye.